Wow, I can't even I can't even piggyback off a student this time. They they yeah. usually do the heavy they usually do the heavy lifting for me. Like, glad they're letting you back in the house, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> we just had we lunch lunch chaos is going on on the other side of the door. Yeah. Um. All right. Well, coach, I, I guess just start with um. So this is the second straight win over a team that that came in kind of highly touted in the ACC. Um. I know we're gonna call it an upset, but for you, um. You know, when you when you look at the results, how much of this is just hard work, effort? You know, the you know kind of paying dividends on what you'd expect from from what you put in. Yeah, I think, I mean, I don't know how many regular basketball fans or people around the country thought, hey, BC is going to win that game. But I know the people sitting here and the people in our locker room and, and the thousand fans we had today were saying BC is going to win that game. And so I think the atmosphere in Conti was, was super electric. I thought the way these guys played together, even when FSU made that run on us, they stuck together. And I think that's the biggest thing. Basketball is 100% a game of runs, and we're not going to play anybody easy in this conference. So every team is going to make their run. It's us being tough enough and believing in ourselves enough to combat that run with a run of our own. And I can't be more proud of, of, of this group and just how they fight and how they stick together. Um, for your players too, is this a uh, is this a feeling where you know you're you know you you you've you've been pushing you you you'd had some success. I know there were a couple setbacks in there too, but to feel the kind of the explosion through is this kind of like feeling like it, it's finally all starting to come together, um, coming back from second semester. I don't know, Dan. That kind of sounds like a jinx them question. So I'm just gonna <laughs> say I really love the way we're playing, and we go one game at a time. So okay. now, you know we're going to celebrate this game tonight. Oh, uh, I don't know how much celebrating they're going to do. We had like 18 people with the sniffles under the weather, spraying thumb. They got to really just take it easy for this evening and tomorrow. And then we're going to get right back and refocus on Syracuse just one game at a time. If you couldn't tell, I was trying to figure out a way to ask it that didn't feel like a jinx. So uh, <laughs> I was uh, I was trying to find out the right way for it. Um, Latson averaged something like 25 points a game, I think, coming into today. Um, how'd you shut her down? My people's. They, <laughs> I didn't do it. They they, they defense. They, they stayed in front of her. They, they really came to play with that in their mind. And I also think, you know, we've had a really talented freshman on our squad that's really been playing well and hasn't really gotten any ACC merits for that. And I think that our whole team took that a little personally today. And we wanted to show, hey, don't forget about T. Mayor, who, who has really been our floor general out there, game in and game out. And I think that, you know, they put a lot of pride uh, in her and, and in their play today to kind of be a little bit stifling on defense. And that's to take nothing away from us. And she's, she's an unbelievable player, but I think that they just really played hard and together. And that's what it takes. You know, one thing that I know you don't beat anybody one-on-one -on -one in the game of basketball. You know, you have to play as a team and a team effort. And that's the thing like, you know, Tay had some stifling defense, but then Dre and T up top had to pick her up and kind of switch in and out when we were in, in our zone and, I just think that they really moved and they made a conscious effort play after play to do it. And that's indicative of a team that uh, really has that little chip on their shoulder to prove themselves. I think yeah. that we stuck to the game plan. Like we knew how she played coming in. We knew how to defend her. And we stuck together for the most part and held her to 10 points. When you're kind of, when you're kind of doing that um, T and Tay where she's talking about like, communicating and, and and you're saying sticking to the game plan too is like are there are there times where you know hey you're gonna have to take her for the next couple minutes or you're gonna have to take her in this particular set or is it in a defense where you're gonna switch and say okay if she you know I'm gonna go you take this spot like how do you kind of in the moment determine who's gonna take how you're gonna play it how you're gonna communicate off well, but we come out knowing matchups, but like in transition and things like that, we don't have matchups. So it's just like knowing we in practice, we go through guarding everyone. So we know how everyone plays. So we have to be matched up with them. Then we will know how to defend them. And um, also I have to switch on and off with Latin also because I had four fouls and I knew my teammates were going to have my back on Gardner. Tay, you come out with um, – I'm sorry, T, you come out with 17 points. Um, normally when we're talking, you were talking about distributions, and, and I know you still had the seven assists, but they were talking about you scoring. 
Um, so, you know, what was it on the floor when you're that, that you say, I can shoot this ball and I can, I can hit from outside as opposed to, to passing inside. Um, I had a little heat check. Um, I got hot, you know, I was feeling my shot a lot. So, you know, I, whenever I was open, I was shooting it. Whenever my team needed me to like to step up and get a bucket, I was able to do that for them. And also like distributing, I was able to do it. It was kind of like my, like my thing, you know, um, I'm trying to like, like grow my game a little bit. How's that? Is that just been working in practice? Anything in particular that you've, that you've, uh, that you kind of said, this is what I need to work in when you're in practice, or is it just, uh, you know, kind of continued development through your first year? Uh, I think it's continuous development also throughout practice as well. I work on it throughout practice and hitting shots throughout practice, build my confidence in the game where I know I hit that shot. Um, Ali, you 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 know come off the bench, <laughs> score twelve. Um, we always I remember last year, coach called you Miss Fundamentals. Um. You know, you're always always coming in and being able to to make some of those plays. So for you to to have the outburst th today, I know the bench has been shortened a little bit, and I know that 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 you know you go to a shorter rotation. Uh, but for you to to step in, and kind of have that, what presented for you, and and how are you able to you know get open for your shots and and make, create your shots? Yeah, I think this game I just came with more confidence, and I didn't like focus on creating my shots, but like working off my teammates and like noticing when I'm open, when I can run the floor, and things like that. Um, was there something that Florida State kind of presented to you to, uh, you know, not necessarily get open, but to create and be able to to move and, and kind of make your moves as you needed to? Um, I don't think there was anything in Florida State. I just thought, uh, <laughs> I don't know, I was a friendly day and I was feeling good. So, um, Coach, as we're kind of into the second half, I know um, – just based on what everyone's been saying, like, and, 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 and for you, as you've kind of seen your team grow um, every game, I, I know you always tell me you, you, you go, you find good things and then you're going to come back in the film and you're going to kind of balance it out. Um, where have you kind of seen the team grow the most since the start of the year? And, and as the games go, things that you want to continue to reinforce. Um, speaking with today's game, I was really impressed with, the way they stuck, like, and what Tay was alluding to, that five together is one on the defense end. Every time the ball moved, and that's what they're, you know, we got, we had to show them a lot of that against NC State. Ball moved, you saw five players move, five players move. They continually moved when the ball was moving, and they were communicating. I could hear in that, you know, loud gym, them talking about what they need to do defensively. That's huge. I also think that they're doing a really good job continuing to push in transition offense, right? So those are two the one thing I think we could get better at, and I thought that I thought we almost corrected it in the game, was in the first half, especially we had some well, and in the third quarter. So it was almost like first quarter, third quarter, some undisciplined fouls, like where we just we need just to stay straight up, you know, because that's one thing we talk about. Like we can get back two points, right? We can just go down, and we, but you can't get back a foul. Once you commit a foul, it's your foul the whole game. So just trying to be a little bit more disciplined on the defensive end without fouling. Uh, but outside of that, I think that the growth has really been on believing in each other and that communication uh, on, on the defensive end. Offensively, we're going to keep getting our chemistry down uh, and keep working together. Do you think that there are going to be a few more believers tomorrow morning in the ACC? There should be a few more believers. We don't even worry about the other people, right? We're just worried about us. Mm -hmm. Fair. That's fair. Thanks. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, Dan. Appreciate you.